I get a lot more exposure here in Slab City than I ever did in Portland, Oregon. So yeah, I just live down here and do art every single day. Now, what, what was your big motivator to coming here? Right here, right here, for the best advice on how to reduce your debt and create remote income while living in a vehicle. Now that could be either a car, an SUV, a van, a trailer, or an RV, regardless of what it is. Subscribe below and hit the notification bell so you'll be alerted of every new video I come out with. Where are you guys from? The Imperial Valley. Remember? Huh? Like the Imperial Valley. Oh, right here. Cool, cool series. Coming here. Well, my big motivator was because my career ended in Portland. I didn't have any ties. I was debt free. Okay. And um, it, I was in an opportunity. I could kind of pick anywhere on the map I wanted to go. So I chose Slab City. Okay. I wrote it down on my vision board, which is my mirror. I tagged, a, I wrote Salvation Mountain. Oh wow! On a note, and I stuck it to my mirror, and I was here within four months. Oh wow, wow! Yeah. Now, when you came here, one of the things you have to do is you have to eat. You have to do some of the essential things. How yeah. do you afford that? How do you support that? Well, lifestyle? the slabs provide. Even if you don't have anything, there's places to eat here in the slabs. I'm pretty self-sufficient. Okay. Yeah, so I caught on pretty quick. You know. That's kind of cool. So, what what gives you the biggest motivator of doing this? Is it the freedom? Is it the to do what you want to do when you want to do it. Here's the greatest thing. Since I don't live in the suburbs, I am the commander of my own trajectory. Right. Nobody else influences which direction I'm going. Every morning I wake up and I decide what I want to do. And you're happy. Yeah, I'm happy. Here's the deal is I get really in touch with, with God. I call it source energy. Right. But if you are in receptive mode, then you are really receptive to the messages that God or, uh, you know, source energy or higher power sends you. Right, right. So yeah, um, by being in receptive mode all the time, yeah, uh, nobody messes with my trajectory out here. Uh, I, I'm the commander of what I want to do. Because in a sense, you are a, you are a class of a nomad. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, because there's nomads like I'm a nomad, but I live in my SUV. Yeah, that we don't own right the property here. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. Right, but I'm but, sure I'm going to leave it better than the way I uh, when I came. You know, kind of like the campground. You know, makes I sense. leave the campground cleaner than the way you yep. found it. Well, and I noticed when I walked up here, one of the things I did uh, notice when I drove by the first time is I noticed energy coming from you. Thank you. I did. I really see the happiness. You just were content. You could just feel so it. content out here. That's what got me. I've to never stop. been so content in the suburbs as I am out here. It's you know? been a pleasure. You sure touched my life. Oh, thank thank you. you. Okay, we are here in California to a place where they call Slap City. And it is the only place in America that there are no laws, no rules, no one owns any of it. Um, we thought we were going to come out here and be by ourselves, but apparently everybody had the same thought. Really, what I see, when I see all this, a lot of people see garbage. But if you look at some of the things that are laid out, the way it's laid out, it's all art. And I'll give you an example. 
If you come over here, and here's a pile of chairs, rusty old chairs, office chairs, different types of chairs, theater chairs, but they're all grouped into a pile in a certain manner. Actually, they're laid on there in a certain manner. Why? Because that's a form of art and expression of somebody that lives here. To me, that's freedom. I have over 37 years business experience creating income. And just in the last five years did I start devoting that time to producing remote income. Where you can make money on your terms when and where you want. About education or intelligence as about people's expression, their creativity to express themselves in ways they never ever could in their lives. Now it took them to move into Slab City with no overhead or minimal amount of overhead to be in a situation or in a way of life where they can totally express themselves. That's huge. different types of nomads out there. Some of us that like to do boondocking. Some of us that like more of a black top type of nomad. Uh, somebody that likes to stay within the city, a city dweller, so to speak. I like the hustle and bustle of the city. There are times I do go camping or boondocking in order to uh, get myself, uh, maybe to clear my head. The modern nomad now is a lot different. Is that when I first started becoming a nomad, initially I stereotyped it as well, and that's farthest from the truth. A community is just like any other community. The difference is our homes are within our mobile vehicle. But we choose to have our homes mobile, and that way 
so to speak, our home is where really where the outdoors is. Wherever we decide to plant our mobile bedroom is where we're at. So we can enjoy the sunshine above. So we can look at different areas and enjoy them. I mean, even if it comes down to a plant and see the beauty of the smaller things of life. And then to live a life, since I'm living mobily, to live a life minimalistic. Very minimal. To understand that I don't need as much as I thought I needed. If I don't use it within a day or two, I really don't need it. It's just an experience. Yes, I'm trying to encourage you to take a look at it. To maybe look at other videos, other YouTube videos from Bob Wells over at Cheap RV Living. Uh, Linda over Serene Simple Life. And then also Chrome uh, from Van City Van Life. Look at these guys. Look at them and look how they live and what that brings to them. And then find out exactly why they are doing what they're doing. And you'll find out, maybe you'll find out that there's something missing in your life. And in order to enrich that life and bring it to freedom that you've already always dreamed about, maybe it's time that you decided to go into a mobile vehicle. Now, whether that be a car, uh, an SUV, a van, a trailer, an uh, RV, it's got to work for your type of lifestyle. Now, I chose an SUV because I can make money during the day taking passengers on rideshare and also doing deliveries. So that's how I make my money. So I've chose the SUV because it's most economical and I can transform it from day to night from a mobile bedroom to a, a, car, a regular car that takes passengers. And so what I'm asking everybody, join with me and get rid of that rat race. Really, get rid of that rat race. Get rid of those fears that you have and come out here and make your vehicle your mobile bedroom. If you can do that, that could release so much anxiety and stress that you will open a whole new horizon. Really got anything out of this video, I ask that you subscribe below and hit the notification bell and that way I'll notify you every time a video comes back out. Now one of the things that I want to do is our Patreon account which is out and designed to help others. So all the money we raise in our Patreon account we're going to give out to people in dire need in the community. And then we want to film it. So we want the money to take the money. And if we do distribute it out or give it out to people in the community, we want to film it and then show the folks on the YouTube channel uh, what we can do and what, what, how it impacts other people's lives. And maybe you can join with me. So go ahead, subscribe below, hit that notification bell, join with me and make a statement and say, hey, you care about the people who are less fortunate in this community and we can join together to help each other.